This is Darren with My RV Works. Tonight we're working on an RV that has an issue with some electrical problems in their RV. Uh, some of the receptacles work, some of them don't. And what we found is the ones that don't work happen to be these right in here. Okay, so that would be some of the receptacles in the bedroom and the microwave. Okay, so over on this side we have the main breaker. Okay, and all these circuits are working. Okay, so now what I want to show you is if we take this meter, all right, now I'm on AC circuit, let's go over to this side and I'm gonna reference the neutral circuit and the power side and I have 113.9 volts on the red circuit, I have 118.6 on the black, referencing the neutral right here, okay? So now this 30 amp breaker feeds the inverter converter charger down below, which we're gonna go see in just a little bit. And then after it leaves that inverter, it's gonna come back up to this smaller panel on this 30 amp breaker, which is on right now. And so these circuits here are fed from the inverter. So that if you're going down your highway and you wanna make coffee, then you can turn your inverter on and these circuits here will be energized. Now, remember, customer doesn't have power in half of their coach. So when I, take my red to the 30, which is coming back from the inverter, and I reference the neutral, if you look at my meter, it's zero, okay? But if I reference a neutral over on this side, uh, right in there, why is that not working? It was working a minute ago. There we go. Okay, so if I reference this one, I have 115. So I know that my Circuit's good if I use this neutral, but when I use this neutral, it doesn't. So we have an open neutral. Okay, we have an open neutral. Where's the open neutral? Well, we're gonna go look down in the inverter. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna turn these off. The only thing I have on is a 30. So now I'm coming back from the inverter. We're gonna do our same trick. I'm gonna reference neutral again. And look, I have 113 volts with all of these off. As soon as I turn one of them on, I lose it, okay? Any one of them, I lose it. Now that can only mean one thing. That could mean I have an open neutral. And so what we're gonna do now is we'll go down. So what this tells us, so when you see something like this, head to your inverter, that's where the problem is. We're leaving it correctly, but it's not coming back to me very good. So we have to go down to the inverter and see what the problem is. Okay, so let's go check that out. Okay, so when we look at this inverter and we take the cover off that would have the 120 volt Romex wires and we zoom in a little bit, you can see carnage and melting and all this yuckiness, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to clean all that up, get to the bottom of it, and um, uh, we're gonna try to salvage this inverter if we can, but when something like this happens, it's an indication that too much current has gone through the, the wires. Um, the question that will be how come it didn't trip a breaker, something like that and hopefully we can kind of get to the bottom of this pretty soon but another indication is that their batteries are not being charged from this so we'll try to get to the bottom of it and we'll follow back up once we find out more okay folks so if we were inside and we were looking at a floating neutral here it is right here so this neutral wire we see right here it says ac output and then here is our neutral it's a floating neutral there was no connectivity legitimately wise it may have been touching and that was enough for our meter to actually uh, see the voltage but it wasn't enough for us to see the current so we had voltage of 120 volts 113 or whatever it was but and and we had a little connection right there where i was able to see the the voltage but the current flow it would die right away because there wasn't enough it was just barely touching so if we were to take this off like that and then go inside and check it again then it would show open it wouldn't we wouldn't even read that 120 volts because it's it's we have a floating neutral and so there's our floating neutral right there okay so now what we've done is uh we've pulled out this inverter converter charger and we brought it into our our mobile shop here and i think this is going to be fine i really believe that there's nothing wrong with this and what we're going to do is you see these wires they're they're melted and and they've seen better days. But I really believe that this appliance is fine. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cover off and we're gonna replace these wires and put new wires in there and um, reinstall it. And, and this is your, right here, 
This one is your AC input. So we were talking originally about how that circuit panel, that 30 amp fuse feeds the inverter. Well, this is where that comes right here. It comes on AC input. All your grounds are bonded to this. This even says ground strap. And then on this side here is your AC output, which comes out of here. So we come in here, does its magic, leaves here. So once we get the cover off, well, there's gonna be a relay in there and all kinds of exciting things. But basically all we're trying to do is just replace these wires and put it back together again and see if we can uh, all be happy. Happy campers. Okay, so stand by. Alrighty, we've got the cover off, just a couple screws. There's a couple screws for this part right here. Do this with one hand, that comes out. Okay, it's gonna be connected by these little pieces here, so just be advised. Um, I take a paint pin, you got a, what is it, a, a red, white, and black, and, and I paint pin, or where are they at? So you could look down in there, I got red, white, and black, so they go back together. Um, and then this piece here, let me pan out a little bit, just slides right out, okay? Now that we got that out, okay, yeehaw, isn't that exciting? Uh, here's our wires, okay? So here we had the bad wires, bad, 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 not happy camper wires. And as you see, they just gonna go right on this side here, and then you got your little connectors there. So all we gotta do is just replace the blacks and the whites, put it all back together again, and try to make a happy camper. Okay, so uh, when we come back, uh, we'll have it all back together again. Okay, we've got the inverter new wires put on. So there we've got new wires coming out of the belly of the beast. And um, uh, they're a little short because we had to cut the bad part out. So we had to kind of do him. And we know the converter's working because we've got the uh, DC amp. We're, we're feeding the batteries with 26 amps DC because we've got our clamp meter around it. Now let me show you a trick on these clamp meters. If you take it off, um, I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. I'm going to go to amperage, right? And then I'm going to go to uh, DC. Now see that 0.51? You hold it to the right angle of the wire you're about to uh, read. You zero out your DC amperage and then you clamp it on and that is where you get your accurate reading. So, um, we're going to button it up, and I think we're in good shape now. Okay, so now we're at the end of the trip. We started the whole thing um, reading referencing neutral to... I'm going to turn... Well, I'll leave them on. Uh, to reference this, and then we can see we have... If I can get my meter on there, right, without electrocuting myself. Okay, so at 115, and look, they're all on. Yay, and we're referencing. So in the beginning... Oh, okay. I want to make sure they saw that 115. Okay, there. so in the beginning, this was a problem. We identified the problem as an open neutral down below. We put the new wires in, and now we can make hot chocolate in the microwave. Yay! Yay! And we have another happy camper. <laughs> so, Lord, mate. All right, so we're going to button up. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, um, look for us on the web. Happy camper, say my RV works. Yeah.